Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're checking out two brand new knives from Civivi. Everything will be linked in the description. They just dropped today. Before we talk about the star of the show, I want to very quickly talk about the new the new Civivi Altus. Just because all they did was uh, change the scales to aluminum rather than G10. So, you know, there's not much difference. The steel's the same. Everything else is the same. So I just figured I'd show you guys that. So if you guys like the Civivi Altus, which it is an awesome, awesome button lock, now it comes with a aluminum scales which is pretty cool mine has aftermarket applied weapons technology i think that's what it is scales they were a gift to me and i do appreciate the person who gave it to me because these are some of the best aftermarket scales i've ever had and it has a titanium clip from civivi or we that you can buy for any civivi knife now as far as this one goes the brand new civivi model the civivi cubit i'm saying that this is an absolute Civivi killer and I'm going to talk about many reasons why and that goes for the liner lock version or the button lock version so it doesn't matter but number one the blade shape so you guys know I love a good spear point blade love it this one is still a spear point blade if you notice the spine and the edge do the exact same thing until again it comes to a point however it's more elongated so this tip is more acute and it actually sits lower so the utility cuts are going to be far better with this one. I mean, you're going to have so much more leverage in that tip and it's more acute. Next, the geometry. Let's, wait, the steel. The steel. Let's talk about the steel. Nitro V 14C 28M. This one is the Damascus version. So the Damascus version is a 9CR powdered steel Damascus. And I think Civivi does some of the best Damascus you can buy on the market. The only Damascus I would say can beat it um, you know, as far as production knives go, is Damas Steel. Now, Damas Steel is basically RWL 34 and a powdered version, you know, mixed with another similar steel. But this is has basically the same process, so it's made basically the same way they make that steel, and the reason why Damas Steel is so awesome, except for it's done with 9CR. So, very, very good Damascus. Now, the Nitro V is very similar to the 14C. So the models that come with the plain blades, not the Damascus, are, for, are 14C. They're basically the same steel, so nothing there. But as far as geometry goes, this is 120 thousandths blade stock thickness. 120 thousandths, 15 thousandths right here. It is a hollow grind, so you'd think this one's gonna have better geometry. Ha ha! This one has 80 thousandths thick blade stock thickness at the thickest point, the point you never even use 80 thousandths. Once you get out to where you're going to be cutting, 70 thousandths. 70 thousandths blade stock thickness. That's thinner than a Spyderco Chaparral. Guess what the thinness behind the edge is? Nine thousandths. This thing is mega, mega thin. It has insane cutting geometry. This thing's going to pass through materials like a dream. Way better than the Elementum. So, uh, next thing is the handle. So, this one's aluminum. So, we have aluminum scales, right? Just solid aluminum scales. No milling in there at all. This one's steel liners with G10. So, to me, the... the, the the aluminum beats it. It's lighter, you know, it's more solid, it's a metal. So I'm gonna say the aluminum beats it and it, it is much, much lighter. But the ergonomics are far better. I don't think that could even be debatable. The, uh, the, the ergonomics on the Elementum are okay, especially if you do the trigger pull, then you know it's pretty good. But this doesn't have a flipper tab in the way and it's slimmer or thinner, but it's broader this way. So it's just much, much more comfortable. You can choke up and get right up to the edge without spreading out or having to do the trigger pull it's it's undeniable way more comfortable undeniably it is very very comfortable compared to the elementum so the elementum is easily beat by that next this one has a deep carry inset clip very awesome right but this one has an inset deep carry clip that's also reversible and you can also buy like we showed on this knife, you can buy aftermarket Civivi clips and you can put them on either one, but I'm probably going to switch this clip over to this one now because, like I said, this thing to me is an absolute dominator over the Elementum. Next. Now, this one's debatable, but this the, the Elementum has flipping action, right? It's a flipper, which is good. I like flipper tabs. I really do. But because this one has thumb studs... It's extremely fidgety, and I'm not going to debate which one's better, thumb studs or flipper tab. That's, you know, just 
subjective, whatever you think, but because it doesn't have a flipper tab, it allows you to have so, so much better ergonomics like we talked about before. You don't have to do the trigger pull. You can get up nice and tight to the edge. And you know, the scales are done extremely, extremely well. Like I said, the, the weight is just, it's so much lighter, uh, but you have a knife that you have so much control over, not only from the tip, the slicing capabilities, you can turn it around and cut any direction you want. This is going to be a masterful, I don't even know if that's a good word to use for it. I'm trying to come up with the words to express the way I feel about it, but it's gonna be such a useful design, such a useful every every which way. It's, it's an extreme, get one in hand. Now, the next thing, the Elementum doesn't come with a, a bottle opener, but the Civivi Cubit does. It has a, a function, it's, it's just a one time, when they add a, <laughs> this is the one time when they actually add a cap puller or a cap lifter to a knife and it's actually on a good knife. Almost every single time, if you see a bottle opener on a knife, it's almost, unless if it's a multi-tool, it's almost never good. <laughs> this is actually really good and you have a, a bottle lifter or, you know, uh, um, a cap lifter. These do come in many different colors, just like the Elementum, and I suspect, I hope, right, and I'm hoping Savivi's listening right now, this is a little slippery, right, which I'm not saying it's slick, it's good, it's just fine, it'll be a very comfortable user, but some people might like if they did some inlay work on this, did like some, maybe some micarta, maybe some carbon fiber, add a little bit of texture to it. Now this doesn't have the powderiness to it. Kara does not mind these scales. And, and a lot of times with aluminum scales, Kara hates them. So both of these are very smooth. They're not uh, powdery at all. Kara has no problem with this. So, that, so that's a good thing, but a little bit of texture from an inlay might be awesome. And maybe we'll see that in the future. Now, the one thing people are probably going to be looking at, if you know me, you're going to say, well, the Elementum has a better sharpening choil, right? Better sharpening choil and plunge grind. And Jared, you always freak out over that. Eh, not really. And the reason why is because even though the plunge line looks, it looks like it's close to the edge, this is 9,000 thick. So do you know how much life that is? Even when you get to here, it's still like 16, 15, 16,000. So it's as thick as this starts out to be when you get to the plunge grind. It will, that's a lot of life off of this knife. This knife will, <laughs> you know, it's so thin behind the edge that every time you sharpen it, you're barely gonna be removing any steel. So that's a lot of life. Yes, I always prefer it to be bigger and all the way back here, but this is no problem at all. It's actually really, really good. All in all, I do really like the Elementum and I still highly recommend it, whether it's the liner lock version or the button lock version. But this is way, way better. It really is. And then when we look at the Altus, the Altus is a really good knife too. I really like the Altus. A lot of people loved it. It's a very popular knife. This is better than the Altus. It really is. It, it's so much better than the Altus to me. So when you get it in hand, you, you can really tell that this knife is awesome. It's not only super lightweight, very fidgety. Listen to the sound. But the knife is very fidgety, has really good acoustics. Very snappy, great detent on this button lock, super strong lockup, very, very solid. And, you know, like I said, the ergonomics, you know, the carry, the everything, this is an absolute winner all the way around. And like I said, and it definitely outbeats the Elementum and the Altus. So there you guys go. Everything will be linked down in the description if you want to check out anything I did not mention. I love you guys. Until next time, peace.